I'm here with Steve Kirsch, and guess what? Reuters and the CDC, the FDA, is now acknowledging that there's an early signal of possible stroke associated with the bivalent COVID vaccine. Let's, let's look into it. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Food and Drug Administration said on Friday that a CDC vaccine database had uncovered a possible safety issue in which people 65 and older were more likely to have an ischemic, I think that's how you say it, ischemic, ischemic. stroke yep. 21 days after receiving the Pfizer bivalent shot compared to the 2020, 22 to 24 days. Let me read that again. The FDA and the CDC said on Friday that a CDC vaccine database had uncovered a possible safety issue in which people 65 and older were more likely to have an ischemic stroke 21 days after receiving the bivalent shot compared with 22 to 24 days. Okay, so that's what they're saying. The FDA and the CDC said the other large studies, the CDC's Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System, other countries' databases, and Pfizer's own databases had not flagged the safety issue, adding that it requires more investigation. Although the totality of the data currently suggests that it is a very unlikely that the signal in VSD, Vaccine Saf Safety Data Link, represents a true clinical risk, we believe it's important. So if they really thought that, they wouldn't even mention it. If they thought there's no, it's very unlikely and it's probably, not, they wouldn't be mentioning it. All right, but they are mentioning it, so good. Pfizer and Biotech said that the statement that they have been made aware, they've been made aware of the limited reports of the ischemic strokes in people 65 and older following a vaccination with their updated shot. They didn't know! Someone else figured it out. They didn't know. Neither Pfizer and Biotech nor the CDC or the FDA have observed similar findings across the numerous other monitoring systems in the U.S. And globally, there is no evidence to conclude that ischemic stroke is associated with the use of the company's COVID-19 vaccines, the company said. That's what the company said. The company that didn't even test to see if it stopped transmission. And then they didn't tell you for two years. That company. This safety concern. If you can't trust Pfizer, who can you trust? Who Jimmy? can you trust? The safety concern has not been identified with Moderna's bivalent shot, and both the CDC and the FDA continue to recommend that everyone aged six months, six months. and older stay up to date with their COVID nineteen. That is, so, it's so corrupt. I just, you know, so I just I, said, let know, me. It just makes no sense at that age when the risk is so low. It is unbelievably. Even stupid. Bill Gates is at this point is saying this about the the COVID virus. Even he's <laughs> saying this point. We didn't really understand the fatality rate. You know, we didn't understand that it's a fairly low fatality rate and that it's a disease mainly of the elderly. Kind of like flu is, although a bit different than that. A bit. Yeah. So then why did why are they still recommending that people six months old are because at some they, kind like they're at some kind of a risk from this? This yeah, is Chris is crazy. Back this, down is now. this is this is crazy. They can't back down. They're they're caught. They just but, won't you know it's like they can't change their their you know it's like they you put the coin in the, the machine and the machine goes and now you can't stop it. Uh, okay, yeah. let's do. I want to. I want to. Not the vaccine. Let's talk <laughs> we'll, about. We'll I, I have to. I have to let everybody know that the vaccine is super safe and effective. Yeah, absolutely, it'll keep you, you from know. getting seriously ill, hospitalized, or death, and yeah, it like slows the transmission and contraction of the virus. I love it. Yeah, yeah, safe and effective. Everybody, we're doing live stand-up comedy in Los Angeles in January and February in Los Angeles, and, and then we're going to Tempe, <laughs> Palm Springs, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Nashville. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets and become a premium member while you're there.